Okay, part two then asks for e of x and the variance. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to need to know this value here. But these probabilities will always add up to 1 in a distribution. So if we just subtract the sum of these from 1, we'll get um, the probability that x is 5, rather than having to actually calculate it. Um, so that's going to be a fifth and two fifths and 4 fifteenths, which is 13 fifteenths. So taking that away from one leaves us with two fifteenths. To work out the expectation E of X, that is the sum of XP. So the sum of the X values times their probabilities. So that's gonna equal two lots of one fifth plus uh, three lots of two fifths, four lots of four fifths, uh, sorry, four lots of four fifteenths, and five lots of two fifteenths. So that's two fifths, um, six fifths. Um, 16 fifteenths and 10 fifteenths. That's 10 thirds, 10 over 3. To find the variance, um, we use the formula the sum of the x squared times p values minus the mean squared minus the square of e of x. So we're going to square the, the x values before we times them by the, the probabilities. So it would be 2 squared times a fifth, 3 squared times uh, 2 fifths and so on. So that's going to be, as I said, 2 squared times a fifth plus 3 squared times two fifths, four squared times four fifteenths, five squared times two fifteenths, and then we're gonna subtract 10 thirds squared. Okay. Okay, eight ninths, eight over nine. Okay. 